Hey beauties, it's Nikea here with a, what is this? I don't know. It's Nikea here with the video for you all. So I recently purchased some natural hair clip-ins. I purchased a set from this website and I think the company's based in China and the package was supposed to come last Monday and the mail, the mail person didn't leave it at the door. So I had to file like a whole case and investigation to find out where my package was. Then I came home yesterday, which was Monday, a week later, and the package was there. And on this past Saturday, I had went ahead and ordered some more hair and I found some on Amazon. Um, so now I know that there are a lot of like natural hair clip-in companies out there, but they were super expensive and they just didn't fit in, you know, my budget. So I had to go an alternative route. Um, and this was just a quick temporary solution. Um, I'm using these for my engagement photos. So if you want to see that hairstyle, you know, subscribe to my channel, turn on that bell notification button so that you never miss an upload. Join the club. Harper, I'm going to show you all the hair, talk about it and show you what I'm going to do to it to prepare it for the style. Um, so I'm going to be washing it, detangling it, and I'm also going to be dyeing it because as you all know, my hair is bronze copper up under this. So I want the clip-ins to match my hair. This is the hair that I got from the website from the company that was based in China. Um, I'll link it in the description box. So this one is 16 inches. This is just one of the clip-ins. It's virgin hair. It's in the natural color. So if I hadn't dyed my hair, this would be perfect. I wouldn't need to do anything to it. And this track has four clips on it. And you just pop it out like that. So this bundle has one. All right, so it has seven pieces. So it has these two small pieces, each with one clip. And then two pieces like this with two clips. And these two pieces have three clips and then you have the one longer piece with four clips and this texture matches mine I would say I think on the website it said like a 4A or 4B is the texture so with that coily curl so I think this is gonna match well with my hair texture so this is that first bundle and then here's the one I got from Amazon, which I'm actually happy that I had to order another set because I don't think that one's gonna give me like the fullness and the width that I want for my hairstyle. So I found this company on Amazon. Oh, they have it on here. QD Beauty 100% Virgin Human Hair Clip-In Extensions. So it came in this box. It has some instructions on here, but they were like incomplete. Like they left off letters on a word. <coughs> like, oh. But it's also in a natural color. So I think this one was seven pieces as well. And again, this hair texture is similar to the other one, a little bit looser, which I don't mind that they're different textures because my hair is not all one texture. All right, so you have a weft that has four clips and then you have two of them that have three and then you have two of them that have three, two of them that have two and two of them that have one so I think the only difference this curl probably is a little bit looser and it looks like you know how my hair would look with a twist out which is fine because it's all gonna work together so now what I'm going to do is just to show you all how I'm going to prep the hair so it doesn't have like that funky factory smell but whenever I get um, hair extensions like a weave or a sew-in or a wig. I like to wash it first, so I'm actually just going to co-wash it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all, here I am just saturating the hair with cold water. I wanted to treat this hair very gently and protect it the entire time. So I'm running it through cold water and just pulling out any shed hairs and just detangling it. All right, now I'm taking this conditioner from Eden Body Work and just co-washing the hair 
working that through to make sure that there are no tangles and knots and just to condition and prep the hair before coloring and styling. And then the next step is to take this brush to just brush through the hair and further get rid of any tangles or knots and to work that conditioner through all of the strands. Now once I've worked the conditioner throughout all of the hair, I am just going to rinse it out with cold water, again locking in all of that moisture and just further making sure that it is detangled and not free. All right, that previous clip was just some shed hair. And this is the hair, both bundles after being co-washed and detangled. And I just laid it on the counter on top of some towels for it to air dry. All right, this is the hair the next day as it has set out and air dried. Still looks good. It's nice and soft and detangled and moisturized. So I just wanted to show you all what each bundle looked like after I went through my preparation process for the hair. So here is the color that I'm going to be using, the Cream of Nature Bronze Copper, because I wanted it to match my hair color. So all I did was wrap my counters in some plastic wrap and laid the hair out there. And as you can see, I am just squirting the color all over the strands and then working it through. On the instructions it says when you color your hair that you work it up into like a little bit of a lather. So that is what I am doing. I am taking it all the way up to the weft and just working it through. Just to make sure that each strand gets the color and that each strand is saturated. And this is all the hair with the dye on it. I'm just letting it sit on the counter and I am taking my hands and just working the color through one more time although I've already applied color to it and like I said previously I just want to make sure that each strand gets the same amount of color so I'm just going back and working it through and as I was letting the hair sit I made sure that I kept the curls by scrunching it up so that while the hair was processing it wouldn't try to straighten out or loosen the curl pattern And now I'm just going to take some saran wrap and wrap it on top of it so it can have some heat to process because unlike your own hair, it's not attached to your scalp so you don't have the natural body heat to help process the color. And I actually let this sit on the bundles for about two hours, I believe. And you'll see the results coming up. All right, y'all, so the hair has been processing for probably an hour now. And I don't think it took to the color at all. Just kind of sad. I'm gonna rinse this out and let this dry. All right, y'all, so after rinsing out the color, I see that the hair did take a little bit of the color. So this kind of reminds me of how my hair looked when I first dyed it. But this is really dark in comparison to my natural hair color. I mean, not my natural hair color, but the color that my hair is now. So the hair is kind of tinted. I just rinsed it with cool water. I'm gonna leave it on this towel to air dry again. My hair is this bright, you see? I need it to be bleached a little more. Cause my hair is it's wet right now. Yeah, I just need a little, I need a little brighter. So I feel like if it had started off as a lighter brown, it would have taken a little better. And the curls are still there. So I just rinsed it out. Or maybe it might not look bad with my hair pulled back. Yeah, this is not light enough to match my ends. Like it's good for my roots, but you see that? But I don't know, maybe it'll be okay once it's dry. I don't know, so I have to see what my hair looks like when it's dry. But I'll probably have to dye it again. 
But it did take the color, I can see it. Yes, it looks like how my hair looked when I first dyed it. And like I said, we still have the curl in here. So I made sure to keep it scrunched up. So we'll continue on this journey tomorrow. All right, y'all, this has been a long and stressful process, but this is the next day. I did try to use some developer to lift it, but that didn't work, so I'm just gonna rock with this color <laughs> and show y'all my solution. So I'm just going to condition and moisturize the hair using the same products that I use on mine, um, just to make sure that the hair is detangled and ready to be applied to my head. So I just use that um, Cream of Nature Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm using the Moroccan Argan Oil that came in the hair coloring box to lock in that moisture to the bundles. And I'm just going to rub that all over the strands. And then all the while just making sure that there's no shed hair or any knots or tangles in there before I actually install it into my head. But what I really came to show y'all is, y'all see how this is, uh, two different colors, we have a solution. So it's the Magic Root Cover Up from L'Oreal. Why does nozzle so? Oh, it's only for your roots, but I'm gonna see how it works. Yeah, I just needed the color to like match a little bit. Oh, I forgot my, oh wow, that is really good. All right, y'all, here's the finished hair. I did pin it up some in the back, so I did spray that root cover up in my hair. There's a little bit on my fingers just now so I touched my hair, but it's temporary. Before you go, make sure you go down below and click that subscribe button. And right next to that, click that bell notification button so that you never miss when I post. Like I always say, it's free, it's easy, and it's fun. Again, thank you so much for watching, beauties, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.